Hi, Dr. Rudy Cashman, Wellness Director of Lutheran Health Network. Thank you for watching our previous shows and coming to my uh, free lectures at uh, uh, Lutheran Hospital. I give it twice a month. You can go to cashmanhealth.com to find out uh, the times. Uh, all about uh, wellness, avoiding the majority of diseases, including uh, cancer. I think great. I think great sh shows to watch. And today, to me, this is an extremely important, very important show. And it's not complex, but it could have great benefit to you. It's called sitting disease. <laughs> and you ask most people, what's sitting disease? Uh, and uh, I hadn't heard about it till two or three years ago. And I picked up a great book called Move a Little, Lose a Lot by John Levine from the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, and a great book uh, to, to read. And, uh, and I'm going to uh, write a, a book on it also because I think it's so important. The reason I think it's so important, if you do what I tell you here, which is not that hard, you can be very healthy. Uh, and I mean, what is sitting uh, disease? Uh, it's really called the new smoking. Yes, if you sit in your job, say for two or three hours, and you don't get up at all, it's like smoking a pack and a half of cigarettes. Yes. They've scientifically shown it. And the reason is that that turns off the LPL enzyme, the enzyme that promotes oxygen uh, oxidation, uh, uh, sugar oxidation, uh, and uh, the oxidation and metabolism of triglycerides, of triglycerides. Yeah, so uh, this is extremely uh, important. Uh, and that's smoke, that's what smoke does, that's what, uh, the chemicals in, in smoking uh, uh, do. And I will uh, teach you today uh, how to take advantage of this. To understand this a little better though, uh, we need to look at your total calorie burn in a day. That'll help you understand it better. Suppose, you know, we say this is your total calorie burn, okay, uh, right here. We have the basic metabolic rate, BMR, that's about 50, 60 percent of the calorie burn you have a day. You're eating, say, 3,000 calories, uh, that'd be 1,500 of it, okay? And that's based on your size, on your sex, and your age. And, and you can uh, calculate your size and your weight in pounds multiplied by 12 kilocalories, and that gives you some idea what your basic metabolic uh, rate is. Mine is around. Uh, 1,500, 1,450, uh, some of that. that. That's what I would burn, just uh, the metabolism of my body. I could just be laying there, okay? No exercise involved, that's my BMR. So that's hard to change. If you're a real big guy, your BMR is higher because you weigh more. Uh, and if you're a real tiny person, your BMR is, is less. You can't change that a lot. Uh, then we have TEF, thermic effect of food. They consider that 10 to 15%. Okay, so we get 50, 60 percent. Now we get a TEF. But there's opportunity there because if you were to eat uh, a mainly a fat diet, uh, you would uh, absorb 97 percent of those calories. 97. You'd lose only three in metabolism. Yeah, that's extremely low. If you were to eat mainly vegetables, uh, for example, or say 80 percent or so, you would lose 30% of the calories in metabolism, the energy of metabolism. Wow, yeah, that's interesting. 30%, that's huge. You know, you, you, you're eating, uh, say, 3,000 calories a day, and you eat mainly a vegetable diet. Look at the calories that you would lose in a day. Besides, uh, vegetable foods and things are not very calorie dense to begin with. There you lose some ca ca calories, okay? Plus, vegetables are much full of fiber, and you lose 30% in your stool. Do you see the advantage to eating a nutrient-dense way of eating instead of a lot of uh, uh, meat products? Very interesting. I mean, you could lose a tremendous amount of your calories by eating the right food. Let's, let's be average, say, five, let's say three to 500 calories are going to leave your, not going to enter your body because you eat a nutrient-dense diet, yeah. Now, what's the other 40%? If you look at this book, they would say 10% is exercise. Uh, 
regular exercise program. But they followed these uh, people around. They found out only 3.5% of the people exercise regularly. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. 3.5. That's a little scary, but that's the way it is. Okay? We're, we're not. Uh, uh, so to me, uh, this 40% is called non exercise activity thermogenics, neat activity, neat activity. And we're just going to throw regular exercise in that because not that many people do it, and some don't have the time to do it. Let's face it, busy working. I work, work full time as a neurosurgeon. I mean, I had time to play tennis certain days a week at night, but to go to a gym workout, I had no time for that. And uh, so that's a 40% need activity. That's the energy of you use up in calories of daily living. Walking, taking the dog for a walk, standing up and doing the uh, dishes, uh, dancing, uh, uh, all sorts of activities that you could possibly dream, dream up uh, that would result in neat activity. So you need to make a long list of neat activity, non-exercise activity uh, thermogenics using uh, walking uh, up to the floor in your office instead of using the elevator, parking far away at the market before you go shopping, maybe walking twice around the market before you shop. Think of neat activities because that increases your calorie burn. Just think, if you're going to gain uh, about 500 calories by eating the right food, and you can increase your neat activity, uh, you can use your imagination uh, on how to do that. Uh, uh, go uh, take a walk in the morning before you go to, go to work. Uh, bird watching where you have to raise the arm, lifting some uh, light weights, uh, cleaning the house, uh, all gardening. These are all neat activities. If you can increase, it, say, 200 calories a day, if you multiply it out for a year, the 3,500 calories per pound, you lose 20 pounds, 300, 300 pounds. You see how easy it is to lose weight? You're gaining 500 from eating the right food. You could gain three to 500 to 1,000, frankly, on, on your neat activity. Exercise is part of that. Exercise is part of that. You know, you go, go to gym and work out, maybe it's, you know, depending on how you do it, of course, but average is 150, 200. You take it just a walk every day for a half hour, they, it's 100, 150. So increase your need. You see how easy it is to be in good health, and especially eat the right food. It's simple. Is this complex? This is simple. Lifting sight, some light weights would be neat activity. Standing, incidentally, burns three times the calorie versus sitting down. So let's go on a little bit here. So uh, what are we saying? Move a little, lose a lot, okay? Uh, and uh, we are, in essence, in society today, many of us are sentenced to a chair, unfortunately. Some sit there all day. First of all, I'd like to write down how many hours a day are you sitting? I think that would be, uh, I think that'd be a good, good idea, okay? At home, for example, how many hours are you sitting in front of the TV? Average American, five hours. Average American after age 65, seven hours. Seven hours. So we're leading a, com a sedentary lifestyle. We're in front of the computer. Uh, we're watching all these sport activities instead of doing them th themselves. So, but calculate your hours to get some idea. How many hours a day are you sitting? Do you have sitting disease? It's like smoking, okay? So you get some idea. Uh, and uh, about two billion people in the world are overweight. 70% of Americans are overweight. Certain racial groups, because of certain genetic changes, they're more likely to eat sugar, for example, and the body revolts to that and, and develop higher rates of obesity. Some people run a 90% overweight rate, yeah. so. Find out what your normal bo body mass index is, your weight and your height. You can find tables on the internet or uh, in books. You want to know because you, your future is dependent on it. If you're 5 10 percent overweight, you're going to get diabetes. That's called advanced heart disease, strokes, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, autoimmune disease, all types of cancers. This is important. This is important. Uh, okay, and uh, they even have devices now where you can measure your steps, for example, pedometers. Uh, that's good. It gives you some idea the number of steps you're taking a day. I've got a, 
uh, some grandkids that they, they have a pedometer on them, their parents have a pedometer on them, they're all trying to get 10,000 steps a day. Uh, and uh, that's one of you tracking yourself. Uh, and there are many other devices now, so take advantage of that. I would love to see one that measures the vibration of your body, so it's, it's not just the steps, so it's like lifting weights, for example, uh, would be good. I tried some of those, uh, many of them aren't that good. Uh, how many steps have we taken? The average American, about, uh, about 5,000. An Amish farmer, 18,000. A Amish female farmer, 14,000, okay? America, about 5,000. A truck driver, that's a problem, for example. I did see a truck driver the other day at, a, at a Planet Fitness, and he t he's telling me a year ago, I told him about this, it weighed 360 pounds, and I saw him on Saturday, only 10 people there working out. He comes up to me, talks to me, you know what he weighs now? 210. If you see me, I'll show you a picture of him. 210. Uh, and what he's doing is a neat activity. Every time he, he stops at a truck, you know, at a, a restaurant or something, three or four times a day, he's driving in California, New York, uh, with buffalo meat. <laughs> and uh, it's an unbelievable story. He's calculated how many times he has to walk around the truck to hit a mile. He's walking three to four miles a day and loves it. He had a crock pot stove in his car, so he's eating uh, differently. Uh, so this is uh, great. I mean, truck drivers sit a lot more. They truly have sitting disease, and many have diabetes. Let's talk about calorie burn. If you're chair bound, you burn about 300 calories, kilocalories an hour. Uh, if you're seated, we can get up now and then 700. Uh, if you can get up with discretion, you have a seated job, about 1,000 a day. Uh, home taker, about 1,400. And a factory agriculture worker, about 2,300. That's calorie burn uh, from work activity, from neat activity. That's kind of interesting to know that. So we are walking like hell in a factory. Uh, you get a big advantage, oh, okay? Uh, and uh, and they, uh, so if you increase you need activities, you can burn calories without necessarily going to a gym, and it gets to be a habit. You do it 21 times, it's a habit, okay? Uh, we travel in a car on the average about 30 miles per day. You're sitting, uh, and that's a result of an American, so on the average, gaining 30 pounds of weight. That's true, okay? Uh, we uh, have 70% of our time we, uh, we spend uh, today uh, sitting down in, in our leisure time. That's not good. Uh, and uh, remember the basic metabolic rate's about 50, 60 percent. That's the energy used up in your heart, your brain, and your organs. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, so a formal exercise program for an hour, you lose maybe 100, 200 calories. I mean, there are a few people that get on that treadmill and they pump it at at living speed, you can't believe, and they're burning five, 600 calories, some claim more. But I, I think it's awfully tough to get up there uh, and, and difficult to do. I wanna make it a little bit easier for you and something that you would do regularly, not at the rate of 3.5%, uh, uh, okay? And a sitting, uh, you burn about five calories an hour, that's all. Okay, standing triple set. So you get a phone call, stand up. That's triple times the calorie burn. Stair climbing for an hour would be 200 calories, okay? Walking, you burn at one miles per hour, 100 calories, two miles per hour, 150, three miles per hour, 230. So walking is excellent. It's, take a walk every day, maybe you watch the birds, so you have to, uh, some field glasses, you gotta go look at the birds, like I do, listen to the songs. I sing their songs now, <laughs> you know. But that's neat activity, that's part of your neat activity, okay? Remember I said our enzymes shut down when we're sitting. And uh, uh, let's face it, it's better to live on your feet than to die in your seat, <laughs> okay? And uh, uh, so uh, neat activity can reduce fatigue, builds muscles, decrease joint pain, increase your core strength. So doing some Pilates and core exercises I think are good. Uh, and it makes your brain grow. Exercise uh, causes your brain grow. Neuroplasticity, they found that. They found when they x-rayed people are overweight, their brain has shrunk. Just like with alcohol, shrinks uh, even a bit more. 
uh, period, they project there will be 50% increase in childhood obesity over the next uh, 10, 20 years. Yeah. Dancing, music, that's neat activity. So I think that's a good one. Makes you psychologically feel better and it's neat activity. Uh, and uh, if you walk regularly an hour a day, that decreases the death rate about 46% over a lifetime. Wow, 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 wow. That's very interesting. And uh, so you can, whether you're thin or fat, can be due to the amount of neat activity you do and the thermic effect of food. What type of food are you eating? Are you eating nutrient-dense food where you're losing 30% in the stool, 30% through me me metabolism, and, and good food is nutrient, the density is not as high. So you're, you're gonna lose a lot of calories just eating the right food. That's a great thing to know. So NEAT is a metabolic switch. It's a switch that gets turned on. So let's get into the NEAT beat, okay? The NEAT beat. Uh, and uh, genetics load the gun. Genetics load the gun, but the environment pulls the trigger. The environment pulls the trigger. We're born with a certain genetic structure, but 90% of it is up to us and what we do that determines the expression of our genetic structure. It's called epigenetics. That's not well known. Uh, so, but remember what I said? Uh, about uh, 21 days, about 21 days, and new habits generally stick. That's a good one. Let's continue here. So visualize your future. See it. If you visualize something, uh, you're much more likely to remember it, and your subconscious mind is much more likely to carry it out. So uh, I said, uh, visualize your future. What do you want to do? I want to lose 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 10 pounds. I want to look great, take your clothes off, look in the mirror, visualize what you want to look like. You can make it happen. Through epigenetics, if you eat nutrient-dense food, and biomathematics, and nutrigenomics, the food, the nutrient-dense food, will rearrange your body. I have many of the, that's on my PowerPoints. Look at the people I have on cashmanhealth.com, my PowerPoint. I have three pictures of three people in there. They look like movie stars. And what did it? What did it? It was done uh, through nutrigenomics. It was the genetic structure of food affecting your gene structure. While you're there, incidentally, look at on, on, on cashmanhealth.com, the website. Look at Rudy's brain gym, because when you exercise your body, I like you to exercise your brain too. 15 minutes, give me 15 minutes a day. Uh, video games, puzzles, words, word of the day, music, all sorts of things, because this guy needs exercise just like this. It may not affect your weight a great deal, but it sure will affect your memory. I personally believe that if you work and exercise your memory regularly, uh, that'll sharpen your brain for another 10 to 15 years and your odds are end up living in a nursing home because there's something wrong with your mind. It goes way down. Rudy's Brain Gym, cashmanhealth.com. I truly believe that Alzheimer's disease, dementia, are much less in people who exercise regularly who avoid uh, uh, diabetes because the sugar doesn't attach to the proteins and slows down the brain. That's the reason. Uh, and regular brain exercise is um, important. Do some yoga, tai chi, dancing. These are all neat activities, okay? They relax the mind too. And, uh, and uh, uh, the truck driver you know, I was speaking about uh, uh, earlier, that neat activity while he's driving, he's grabbing the steering wheel. He put a weight on his left leg and he was lifting it. That's neat activity while he's driving the car. Then he walks around his truck three, four times a day doing three to four miles. And I, I wish I could show you his picture. The guy, extremely handsome individual. The first time I'd seen him, he weighed 360. A little bit different, you know? So it can, it can be done. Uh, and uh, uh, besides, if you eat correctly a nutrient-dense diet, you'll be eating killing less animals. You'll be eating uh, better food. Uh, you'll be showing more respect to the environment because uh, we're destroying the environment. Uh, in the water content because of the pesticides and herbicides that we need to put on plants and animals so that we can eat the wrong food. And uh, so you'll improve the environment too if you respect that. 
and uh, which which uh, I do, and uh, the many days of many different ways of walking, which I want that to be a big thing for you. I walk a half hour every day, uh, an hour would even be be better. You know, it works better if you if you have something going. I watch the birds. That's my companion. Okay, some people need a buddy. Uh, uh, some use an iPad, looking at it uh, the whole time. <laughs> don't, you know, you want to relax more. Don't bother with that. And uh, somebody needs somebody to talk to. They call them a, a, a chatterer. Uh, some uh, need somebody to talk to to daydream. Some have a business discussion. Have your business meetings. Turn them into walking meetings. Uh, that would be a neat activity. Uh, some have a treadmill now at work. They they sell those, and that's a good thing. So you're on the treadmill for your hour, or minutes, hours on the day while you're using your computer. Yeah, that can be done. They have computers designed for you to do that. And, and you, that's a neat activity. So there's stuff you could do to burn calories while you're at work. You're still at home at the same time. So that's a neat activity. That can burn an extra 150 calories an hour easily. Uh, and uh, it could be your neat activity for the day. And, uh, and, and, and I'm going to give you the name of a website where you can buy other activities that improve your need, okay? Put a, put, a, put a log in your refrigerator. Remember, I want to know the number of hours you're sitting, but I write down there all the neat activities that you can dream up. Use your imagination uh, and, uh, and maybe get about 10 of these activities you, you do a day and you're burning an extra 200 calories. You don't have to worry about your weight uh, because 20 pounds will disappear uh, and, and more if you need more. If you eat the right food, this is simple. This, this, this is uh, 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 simple. So uh, uh, walking, I think, is it, 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 good. Like for breakfast, uh, eat, eat a, some protein to avoid sugary foods a little bit, maybe some egg whites, uh, f uh, for example. Uh, eat some fruit, some uh, uh, oatmeal, uh, some chia seeds. If you use seeds in your food, uh, you will uh, increase uh, your uh, absorption of nutrients about 10 times. Dr. Furman says that, so it's instinct. Uh, so small changes, uh, you know, what's important, okay? Keep a diary uh, and, and invent new neat activities. Send me a note <laughs> or email. I want to know some unusual things that you uh, think of. Uh, I thought when the other day I was watching my grandson play football, it was two hours we watched him play intramural uh, football, I, I stood up and walked along the, the sidelines while one of my relatives was sitting in a chair. See the difference in neat activity? Mine was probably three, three and a half times uh, what the other person's was because I'm walking, I'm standing, the other person is sitting in a chair. That was two hours of sitting they did versus me having an, a neat activity. Very uh, interesting. Uh, and uh, so uh, uh, a cordless phone in the office is helpful have walking meetings, stand up, uh, and nutrient-dense eating can save you 200, 500 calories a day. But, you know, calculate in pounds. We're in about 50 to 20 to 50 pounds a year if you eat this way. Isn't that great news? Uh, and calculate your need daily at first, and then maybe make it weekly. And uh, remember, 3,500 calories equal one uh, pound. Uh, and uh, uh, pick up some other sports, you know, uh, if you're going to watch a football game that day, you know that your favorite team is coming on at 4 o'clock, get the kids outside and play touch football for an hour. I, I play tennis uh, at night regularly, three nights a week, but I recently took a pickleball. Yeah, pickleball. Very uh, interesting. But half a tennis court is being played all over the nation. Some even make it a high school sport. That's a fast-moving sport. Uh, and that's some have a look at that or bocce ball or something that's you're standing up playing bocce ball so that's a neat activity and uh, and uh, so prepare a neat life make a plan make a plan and and, and if you pick a sport uh, that you love uh, you're much more likely to do it regularly I mean that seems obvious but but but, uh, but that's true okay uh, other ways you could increase your need activity would be lawn care. Uh, remember shopping, walk around a couple of times before you shop. Uh, and and uh, playing the piano is a neat activity, okay, using the fingers, okay. And watch how many times a week you're eating out and what you're eating. 
learn to speak to your waiter. Uh, I think that's important. And uh, uh, a treadmill at home or in front of a TV or at work, it could be, uh, could be uh, a very uh, uh, helpful. Uh, and there is, is a website uh, called staminaproducts.com. Staminaproducts.com. A good site to look at. They have all sorts of equipment that you could get to improve your neat activity, like if you're driving a lot or, uh, or at home, uh, cheap things you can use to improve your, your need. I think this is great. So uh, keep a weekly log. Uh, get a dog. Take him for a walk uh, twice a day. Take up uh, uh, bird watching. Do, do some stretching. Uh, these are all activities to improve your need. So in summary, uh, I think this is an easy way to become very healthy easy way to lose weight without necessarily having to go to a gym. i like you to go to a gym. I go to a gym regularly, work out an hour a day almost, because I have more time now, but you may not have any time. You may have no inclination. You, get it, you have to drive there. It may cost you two hours. But if you figure out how to increase your neat activity, eat a nutrient-dense diet, you know, 80% of the time, you're going to have great health, fantastic health. So did I recommend a diet? I didn't recommend a diet, a different way of eating, a different way of looking at your life. And don't blame everything in your life on genetics. It's a reaction to what you're doing and what you're eating that's expressing your genetic structure. Yeah. Genes, if a whole family's got a weight problem, it's generally because they're all leading a sedentary lifestyle and eating the wrong food. It's not in their genes. That's good news. It's great news. Did the show today because I care about you and love you. Uh, send me a note or a letter or stop me at Starbucks <laughs> for a cup of coffee and give me some ideas or a list of your neat activities because I like new ideas, uh, simple ideas, how things can improve your neat. So have a neat life. <laughs> I love you. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, show. Uh, this will be in Public Access TV, 7 p.m. Monday. Thank you.